This is Pamela and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Well, today I am drinking, um, let's see, what was this flavor? Oh yeah, the French vanilla. Drinking French vanilla. Mmm, good. Okay, um, obviously I want to show what I'm wearing here. So let me put my cup down. And this is sponsored by Hobie, um, or at least the yarn is sponsored by Hobie. So I made this cardigan. It is a crochet along with Charm Grammy Crochet. Hi Lynette, and um, she has a giveaway going on on her channel. Um, all you gotta do is make a sweater, a Christmas sweater. And so I thought, oh, I've got that Hobie yarn. I wanna do that too. And so that's what I made. And as you can see, I did add some buttons right here. Um, it called for eight buttons and I put six buttons on here. Let's see if you can see it up close. Here are the sleeves. Uh, let's see. Okay. So what did I do different? <laughs> you know, anybody that crochets anything from any pattern is going to do something different. So I did stick to the plan on the majority of this thing, but I added one extra row here because I felt like it may not um, go across this area here that well. <laughs> so I did add an extra row to accommodate for that. And, um, which I kind of like it because it kind of makes it like do this right here. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm very surprised at how much I like this because I thought it was going to be ugly, but I don't know. Some of you guys may think it's ugly. I don't know, but I think it's kind of pretty. <laughs> and um, I think I will wear it at least once, probably or twice. Um, let's see. Then I added only six buttons when it called for eight. Oh yeah, and the sleeve right here. I did start my decrease rounds when you start the sleeve. Um, I only did three rows that it called for and then I started the decrease rows. And then for this cuff, I think I added four extra rows to that. I may be short, but I got long arms. <laughs> and um, so to accommodate for that, yeah, I added four of those. But I did make this in a size medium and um, I think it's pretty true to size. I couldn't imagine this to be any bigger or any smaller. So, and I did the, um, I mean, I literally did all the measurements that they said. If it said do so many rows for this length right here, that's what I did. And um, like I said, except for this part right here, I did four extra rows on the sleeves. But that is it as far as going by their pattern for the measurement wise. Look how good that fits. I mean, it could even be small. I probably could have done a small. Um, but I figure it being winter, I will probably like right here, this is, you know, just a tank top, but I will probably, um, most likely if I wear this, have a, like a long sleeve shirt on with it. But then I don't know. Cause this, this kind of, this cardigan is kind of warm <laughs> and it's soft. So let me show you the pattern real quick. Okay, it's a free pattern. You can go to Hobie. And it's the Hosey, Hosey. <laughs> it's the Horizon Cardigan. And it's free on their website. It's a three DK weight. So if you plan on making this, um, get you some DK weight. I mean, you can make it with other yarn as well, but of course that's going to change the sizing on it and you'll have to kind of figure out your own sizing. So I would, I think I'd probably stick with that DK. Plus if you do a, a medium three weight, I mean a medium four weight or something like that, you risk on having a really thick cardigan. But I guess if you live in Alaska like Laura does, you could probably handle 
<laughs> but um, yeah, so go, if you like this, go download, uh, go download that. I do want to make another one, but in normal colors, not Christmas. <laughs> Uh, buttons on this are 18 millimeter buttons. This is an eight pack and like I said, I only use six of these. And it uses an H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. Thank goodness, because I don't like them smaller ones. <laughs> no more than I have to, which I do have to use them on amigurumis, which makes me think I need to make an amigurumi. I need to do that. Um, there are several things that I have in mind that I want to do. But yeah, I want to make an amigurumi. I just don't know what. Maybe a frog or something. I love making the frogs. We'll see. All right, for the yarn that I used, I used two of these right here. This, the colorway on this is called Zero Two. And um, this is a special edition. So if you don't get the yarn now, um, you're not gonna be able to get this color um, once they sell out. And this, like I said, that's the color that I chose right here. Don't you just love the gray in that? Hmm, I just love it. Um, it's a hot mess. This is a hot mess, look at this. Hot mess, look at that. So, it is Horizon Christmas Hobie. Color zero two. 601 yards in this little baby. Yep. I can't remember if I'm working from the top or the bottom. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I will probably, um, if I can't figure it out, hmm. Yeah, I think when I was working on it, I was working on the upside down because look, there's my strand right there. So I was working on it upside down. And I, I'm pretty sure I was working on the outer edge instead of the in, inner edge. So, oh, look at there. I told you guys, it's a hot mess right here. But anyway, um, I do have this project coming up. Um, oh, don't forget to go to Instagram. I do have a giveaway on Instagram. Um, it's sponsored from Hobie. Ho it's not me giving away the yarn. It's Hobie giving away the yarn. And it's go there's gonna be four winners. So go check out on my Instagram so that you can see what you need to do to enter that. And guys, I wouldn't miss that if I was you because you can take that same garment that you enter enter, enter, <laughs> that you enter on Instagram for that giveaway. You can also use that for um, Charm Grammy Crochet's uh, giveaway that she's got going. And um, let's see, what else do I have on Instagram? That giveaway ends on the 14th, yeah. And on the 15th, I will be doing an Instagram, also another Instagram, but this one will be a DIY. It is... Um, Hashtag make yourself a merry little DIY. That's what it is. And it's through Hobie as well. And it's I'm going to show you how to make something out of this. A little quick project that you can do uh, with this yarn that I've chosen. So, um, yeah, I end up having... This ended up, like I said, only taking two and a little bit into this third one. So, if you want a large or probably even an extra large, probably three is all you need. Um... So I do have a couple of extra ones and I'm going to use that on the DIY project for Hobie on the 15th. So be sure and look for that video because I believe there's a, a giveaway attached to that one as well. I'm really looking forward to filming that one. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I just got to figure out how to put it all together. I know what I wanna do and you know that type of thing, but how to put it all together, that's a whole different ball game. <laughs> Uh, what else do I have going? Um, oh, I did receive a Mary Maxim bag, and I'm not going to show that to you guys yet until I contact them and find out exactly what it's all about, but it looks like two mystery bags, November mystery bags, and um, I'm pretty excited about that as well. I may um, figure out, I want to do my little research on it first before I show it to you guys what it's all about. But I will probably go ahead and pop up a video for you guys on Friday as well about the Mary Maxim. Um, yeah, when I came home last night, it was just sitting there and um, it's a pretty big bag. And I'm like, oh, wow, <laughs> I didn't order any yarn. <laughs> so um, anyway, so that's from Mary Maxim. So I will show that off to you guys. Um, so be sure and check that out tomorrow. Let's see, what else do I have? I have the Instagram, the two things. 
Uh, I'm almost finished with my uh, son-in-law's blanket. I will be starting uh, Knox's blanket with the yarn that I got from Hobie um, on that one, the taxi blanket. So, yeah. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do our 365 days of prayer. Just decide. Remember to stay alert and hold firmly to all that you believe. Be mighty and full of courage. That's 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Father, you are the light that shines in the darkness. When I can't see what's right in front of my face, I press into you and trust the light of your countenance will light the path before me. I will not forget where I came from. You picked me up from the dust and shook me off, clothing me in your righteousness. You made me new, and you never stopped. Your love is still transforming me. Give me the courage I need to keep running the race set before me. I know when I cross the finish line, I'll have reached your kingdom. In the meantime, you deposit gifts out of your perfect character in my path, giving me everything I need to keep going. Your faithfulness leads me on with every breath and every step. You are pure goodness. I won't let go of you, for you never let go of me. What belief about God keeps you going where you would have given up? That is just so encouraging. Thank you, Lord, for your word today. Wasn't that just beautiful? I love the 365 days of prayer, and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying that and that it's helping you, um, you know, giving, your, giving you your daily word um, as you watch my video. Um, I really enjoy bringing that to you guys, and I get a lot from that as well. Uh, it really speaks to my heart, too. So, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.